All right, in a close guard position, guys. Close guard, today I wanna to look at more intermediate stuff. Why do I say intermediate? Simply because once you understand the basic moves of jiu-jitsu, you have to be able to connect, all right? So this, I like to refer to as the double attacks. Let's look at a few of those double attacks that I like to do personally, all right? So let's use a very basic technique. A lot of people sometimes will say, well, the basics, we already know this stuff, right? We'll look at a scissor sweep, which is one of the most fundamental sweeps you have in jiu-jitsu. You grab the collar here, either the sleeve or the elbow, whichever you prefer. But now as you shrimp your hips out, now you can connect a sweep that brings you in a very dominant position, such as the mouth. But once we know these things, we can start to connect. What I mean by connections are, I go for my scissor sweep, and as I attempt the scissor sweep midpoint from here, look, I'm gonna place my foot on the hip and switch into an arm bar. Right? And that is a double attack. Let's look at it from a different angle. Let's turn here. So you start your scissor sweep position. One, here, two, place your foot on the hip. Look, this one kicks up and switches your hips back into the arm bar position. Collar grip, always holding the posture right here. And now grab the wrist and you have the arm bar position. Another attack you can do. I like to do this one as well is as you go for the scissor sweep, you go one, shift the hips, and you end up like this, one. He brings the elbow down, boom. See, now your leg is trapped here. So now I'll come back, and look, as I come back here, look, this arm will punch this one through. See, punch the arm through, and bring your knee up. Left, one, back into another attack we like to do in jiu-jitsu, which is referred to as the shoulder lock, AKA the omoplata. Kick him out, boom, from here, bring your knees, and pump out the omoplata. Again, we have different things we can do. So, we looked at the scissor sweep into an arm bar, we looked at the scissor sweep into attacking the omoplata, which is a shoulder lock, right? Many other things we can do. We can go for a triangle, for example. See, connecting two basic techniques from here. One, I go for my scissor sweep, now I'll post onto the hip, but this time, this leg, he's trying to control this foot. So as it's trying to control the foot, look, this one will windshield wiper over, and look, I'll hook on top, and I'll bring him back into this position. This is the triangle position. And I'll bring this arm, wrap it, trap it, seize it, and then lock it, right? So we have a lot of double attacks we can do. All right, let's uh, throw one more from the scissor sweep position. Okay, maybe I go for the scissor sweep into the arm bar we talked about. From here, one, two, connect, switch to the arm bar, but you got late. What happens, this arm, as you pass the arm, he's gonna escape, look, boom, see? So when you feel it, he removes the elbow out of the way, look, boom, look, just lock it right here. Lock it over the shoulder, bridge this arm over, trap it, same thing as we did in the previous technique. Turn, grab your own foot, push the knee against the shoulder so it doesn't stack you, and look, lock, and look, the space, close it, boom. That's the triangle choke. Guys, there are so many techniques you can do from the close guard position that'll bring you from the most basic techniques. Today I just use the scissor sweep. Every single technique you have in Jiu Jitsu are basics. What does the advanced Jiu Jitsu are advanced basics. Basically putting the basic techniques, funneling them together into your own sequence of double attacks. That's advanced Jiu Jitsu guys. Hope you enjoyed this content. Leave us a thumbs up. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials on Jiu Jitsu as this one. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.